Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on. PM Modi inaugurates North East India's first AIMS attends Bihu celebrations. Pakistan government and judiciary in new standoff amid economic turmoil. And Afghan teachers float to school on inner tubes. And now for all the details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday inaugurated the campus of India's premier health institute AIMS in Guwahati city and three other hospitals in Assam state. The AIMS campus is the only one of its kind in the entire northeastern region. The foundation stone of the building was laid by PM Modi himself in 2017. The Prime Minister during his visit dedicated Rs 14,300 crore worth of development projects to Assam on the occasion of the state's harvest festival of Bihu. The initiatives include a bridge on Brahmaputra River and five railway projects. We have focused on the vote bank to reduce the difficulties of the people of the country. We have made the goal that we don't have to go to our children. We have made the goal that we don't have to go to our children in a poor way. Later in the day, PM Modi also witnessed grand Rongali Bihu celebrations in which more than 11,000 dancers performed. The festival is observed in mid-April every year. It heralds the Assamese New Year and is widely celebrated amongst the community. The Pakistan's parliament on Thursday ruled against providing funds for provincial snap polls ordered by the Supreme Court, creating new discord between the judiciary and government amid months of political and economic turmoil. The decision came hours after the government rejected a panel setup and headed by Chief Justice Umar Atta Bandial that was due to rule on a draft law clipping the powers of the Chief Justice, claiming conflict of interest. The Supreme Court has ordered snap polls on May 14 in Punjab province, where former Premier Imran Khan had dissolved the local government. However, incumbent PM Shehbaz Sharif's government has maintained it is not economically viable to spare 21 billion rupees for snap polls. Pakistan is inching closer to IMF deal as UAE has confirmed to the global lender that it will provide 1 billion US dollars support to the country. Pakistan's finance minister Ishaq Dhar confirmed the development in a tweet on Friday. The commitment is one of the requirements that IMF has said it needs to move ahead on a delayed $1.1 billion bailout package to shore up Pakistan's struggling economy. The IMF's managing director, Kristalina Georgieva, said on Thursday the fund was also in talks with friendly countries of Pakistan to provide financial assurances so it can complete the program. Pakistan has less than a month's worth of foreign exchange reserves. With rising costs of all commodities amid the economic crisis, people across the country are left shattered. Now, the price of 1,000 rupees is in the evening. After working all day, the price is in the evening. It is a price of 20,000 rupees. Where can the person afford it? I will tell you, gas, oil, 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 oil. Due to lack of bridges and boats in Afghanistan's Nangarhar province, teachers are finding it hard to make their way to school as they have to carry their own inner tubes every day to reach out to students. A report. As there are no bridges or boats for years in Afghanistan's Nangarhar province, every morning some 12 to 15 teachers carry their inner tubes to make their way to the school by river where they teach. They paddle their rafts across fast-moving water to get to the other side of the 46-meter wide river. The school they teach at currently has 1,040 students, including girls, attending primary classes. It was opened in 2004, but the education ministry told them just three years later, the school complex was too dilapidated for use. There are only three classrooms left now, and most of the classes are held outdoors. Dia awal sahaja rasa rendah, cuma mungkin bahasa ulas seminar 
اپل او پریوزو د بیلې لسته نو دا خو د کونړ سیند دی او خونړې سیند دی ډیر غټ سیند دی او دا شي څنګه د اوړي موسم شروع شي نو سین بیا ډیر زیات شي نو مونږ په ټوپانو مانه ټول ملګری یو زه پریوزو نو د ډیر ستونزو او مشکلاتو سره مخ یو ځکه چې خطر لري ډیر زیات خطر لري دا غټ چپی وی دی چپونه چې مونږ تیریږو نو ډیر After decades of war, Afghanistan remains one of the poorest and least developed countries in the world. Its financial crisis has only worsened since the return of the Taliban to power in 2021. Nepal's Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dehel in reply to the Supreme Court has backtracked and said he has never taken responsibility for the 5000 insurgency era killings. Furnishing a 13 point written response, Dehel demanded that the petitions asking for investigation against him for the killings should be scrapped. He claimed his statement made in 2020 was a response to attempts from some quarters to create a narrative that then Maoist rebels must take responsibility for all 17000 insurgency era deaths he said his remarks were purely political and therefore cannot be an issue of judicial concern India, Japan and France have announced a common platform for talks among bilateral creditors to coordinate the restructuring of Sri Lanka's debt, a move they hope would serve as a model for solving the debt woes of middle-income economies. It remains uncertain, however, whether Sri Lanka's biggest bilateral creditor, China, will join the initiative launched by Japan, this year's G7 chair. Sri Lanka owes 7.1 billion dollars to bilateral creditors with 3 billion dollars owed to China followed by 2.4 billion to the Paris Club and 1.6 billion to India. The government also needs to renegotiate more than 12 billion dollars of debt in euro bonds with overseas private creditors and 2.7 billion dollars on other commercial loans. Sri Lanka kicked off talks to rework part of its domestic debt this month. and aims to finalize the deal by May. Thousands of devotees throng the famous Golden Temple and the pilgrimage site of Haridwar in northern India to offer prayers and take a holy dip to mark the harvest festival of Baisakhi on Friday. Take a look. Sikh devotees on Friday offered prayers and took a holy dip at the famous Golden Temple in India's northern Amritsar city to mark the harvest festival of Baisakhi. The festival is especially celebrated by farmers as they harvest the wheat crop and share their produce as offerings at religious sites as gratitude. It holds a special significance for the Sikhs as on this day the 10th Sikh spiritual leader Guru Gobind Singh established the Khalsa Panth a community of initiated Sikhs in the year 1699. Aaj tak sare paase kilkariyan hundiyan hai jehdi navi fasal ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਦਿਨ ਹੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਟਣਾ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਨਵਾਂ ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਮਨਾਇਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਗੁਰਪੁਰਬ ਦੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੀ ਹੈਗਾ ਮੀਨਵਾਈਲ ਥਾਊਜ਼ੈਂਡਸ ਆਫ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਡੈਵਟੀਜ਼ ਆਲਸੋ ਗੈਦਰਡ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਪਿਲਗ੍ਰਿਮ ਟਾਊਨ ਆਫ ਹਰਿਦਵਾਰ ਟੂ ਹੋਫ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੇਅਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਹੋਲੀ ਡਿਪ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਰਿਵਰ ਗੰਗਾ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਕੰਸਿਡਰਡ ਆਸਪੀਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਟੂ ਬੇਥ ਇਨ ਸੇਕ੍ਰੇਡ ਰਿਵਰਸ ਔਰ ਵਾਟਰ ਬੋਡੀਜ਼ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਓਕੇਜ਼ਨ आज यहाँ बैसाखी का स्नान है वही करने में परिवार के साथ यहाँ आई हूँ और बहुत अच्छा लगा गंगा मैया हम सबको शीतलता प्रदान करे शांति दे टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया 